YouTube, it's Atticus9799. I just wanted to make a video to show you what my husband has built for me, for us, for our family. This is a can rotator and it is the very coolest thing. Um, we were able to get, this, is, this particular one is built out of a closet insert that we got from a cabinet maker who was clearing it out. And then he took it apart and reused all the pieces and built it. I'm going to show you the end. This is this is the front. He hasn't finished it off yet. And this is what the front looks like. When he gets it all finished, I'll show you what it looks like finished. But this is what it looks like from the end. Um, you can see he's there's four shelves in here and they have channels in them in which you can put your can. He has built me several different channels. Most of them will fit smaller cans. Some of them will fit larger cans. But this way you can put the new cans in the back and then when you're ready to have a can of soup you just pull it out of the front and you know that that's the oldest one. And he's used plywood and these are the, these things are the corners that they use when they do drywall. So he's just cut those to lengthen. He stapled those inside on, those, on the plywood. And these shelves um, are just a uh, They're just plywood. Hey, YouTube. It's Noreen again, Atticus9799. I just wanted to show you that my husband finished my can rotator cabinet that I showed you um, before. And I, I don't know if I can get a great shot of it, but here it is. It's up against the wall now, and it's absolutely perfect. Oops. Um does not come complete with cat. And this is about seven feet long. And as you can see down here, this door. I don't know how great. You can see that he has these shelves in here. There's four shelves. They each have three channels. The channels um, vary in size um, for regular and larger cans. So like these top three all fit like a regular sized vegetable can. And then down here, I have family sized soup cans and fruit. And they're about the same all the way down. This last bottom one fits two tuna fish cans stacked on their side. And I just wanted to show you all that. I'm going to show you the opposite end. We kind of are employing it as a sideboard it. And um, so it, it, it's decoratively incorporated into our kitchen. And then it's freezing outside today, so we had to bring all of our plants in so we wouldn't lose them. But here is the other end. Um, I'll turn the camera there so you can see. Um, you obviously put the cans in the other end that I showed you and you would remove them from this end and then they would naturally roll down, kind of like in the grocery store. So this way you always can rotate your stock, store what you eat, eat what you store, know what you have, and you could conceivably have a very good supply of canned goods in a very small amount of space because this is about 18 inches wide, 7 feet long, it takes up very little space, space that we really didn't use for anything. We just floated our kitchen table in this big area here. So here's an idea for you. It was pretty simple to make. Like I said, my husband used a converted closet insert to start, but we're making another one for a friend, and we're just going to start with plywood and 2 by 4s So there's some food for thought, some storage ideas, and food storage ideas. So we'll see you later. Have a great one.